Hello everybody and welcome once again to Running Red, the hardcore questing mod pack from Gideon Seymour. And you'll notice here's a Tesseract and here's a tank. So let's go and actually I have to make a Tesseract. I've already made one, or actually I've made two, but well, let's do it again to, to help. And I will need three because I'll need one for the nether anyway. So I need some silver ingots. And the recipe for silver ingots, let's have a quick look. Because... There is more than one type of silver normally. You've got here's X Nilo, and we can't actually make this one as far as I am aware. And the other one here is the thermal expansion one, which we can. And we make this with some iron in a tier 3 blood altar with one, it's actually 5 LP per tick, and 10,000 LP. So what we can do is take a couple of those iron get this started straight away. I've already got two here but you always need you need four for one to throw it. Let's go up here. Put those in, take out the orb, put the orb back in here and wait. The other thing we needed was shiny metal which I think I might have in the induction smelter. No, nothing in there. Let's have a look what we got in here. Shiny metal two ingots. Some sulfur. Which I did get from um how did I get the sulfur? In the end I got it from Netherrack. See I made twenty two nether bricks here. So let's grind up shiny ingots again. Pulverize those, pulverizer, take the gold orbers out and put in the shiny ingots. Oops, I've done that wrong. Let's try it this way. Yeah, that works. Take out these. Let's put those in this chest over here. In fact, we might as well smelt a few of these. Put those out of the way. Oh, that's funny when it does that. It always does it from some reason or other. Don't ask me why. Just sort it and when it's sorted I can put them back in again, but then it stays sorted. So we've got some roast chicken and some leather. That was very funny. Strange things I have in my chest. Okay, and we wanted pyrothium dust, didn't we? Well, that's fairly straightforward. Has that gone through? Yes, here we go. So we can now take these out of here. And actually that's sufficient to make four. We only need four anyway, so we'll take these out of here. So the sulfur for this one we needed sulfur, blaze powder, redstone I think, and coal dust. I don't know whether it's shaped crafting or not. Now we've got gunpowder, coal dust. Let's go and make some coal if I haven't got any already. Yes, I've got plenty of coal. Let's grind a few of these up. Another trip to the nether and kill a few more wither skeletons is a good way to get coal. Especially with my that's the redstone furnace, wrong one. That's the one I want. Let's put those in here and take out these. And put those over here. Got a lot of a lot of metals, don't need to worry about metals at all. So it's four that'll do. I'll let the others pulverize. And I think it's just like this. Yes, there we go. So that'll give us two. We need, I think we need two for two shiny ingots. So we'll leave the rest of it like that. If I can, there is. I've got space in that chest. Doesn't look up. We'll soon use up those two shiny ingots. We need some tin. Pulverized tin. I do not see in there. But we have no shortage of pulverized tin, so we need six of those. And if you know what I'm doing there, I was just sort of using the middle mouse wheel and just rotating upwards. And of course we need some ender buckets, or buckets of resident ender. We will need two for this lot. And we need some ender pearls, so we need eight ender pearls for two buckets. And we need another uh, four for an ender frame, uh, for a tesseract frame. I think they're in here. Yes, they are. Twelve. 
I need all 12 actually. They're very busy grinding away there. So here's our machines, before I forget. So we need two buckets in, in the, not in the Magna Crucible, and Ender Pulse in the Magna Crucible, and two buckets in here. And that will fill up, and you shall get two buckets of in Resident Ender. In fact, it goes fairly quick, so we'll just wait for those two to actually do their work. It goes quicker than the silver, I think. There we go. And there'll be another bucket's worth in there for the for the actual Tesseract frame. So here we go. Two buckets of that will give me four Enderium blend. Now I've got twelve. And now I need the pyrothium dust, which is here. I think I only need two. We'll just put what we've got in into here, so that and that, and then we shall get our Enderium ingots. And we need four for a Tesseract frame, and I think we'll get four exactly from this batch of smelting. There we go. So I've got plenty more Enderium blend for the next Tesseract frame, or whatever I want to make. So now, let's have a look at our Tesseract frame. Double S. So we need this one. So let's press question mark on that. So we just need hardened glass. That We've got this, actually. I made that from some ground obsidian. I forgot what else I needed it for. I'll check in a second. And the four ingots. Let's put the ingots around the side. That to give the empty tesseract frame, take the tesseract frame to the fluid transposer, put it in, and that should start to process. I think it just takes one, but it's a reasonably slow. Hopefully, now the um, silver's finished, it has looked. Take those out, and let's put it back in there, and fly down again. So here we have a Tesseract frame. So these are the hard bits to do. In fact, you could have, I could have done this at tier level, at the tier three altar stage, but it's easier now with the um, well of suffering. So now we need to make the actual Tesseract itself, this one. So we need four silver and we need four bronze or Tinker's Alloy. Now, have I got any Tinker's Alloy with me? No, so we'll need I think it was three to one, isn't it? So we'll take three of those and three tin ingots. And that should give me 12. And I only want eight, I think. No, I need four. Let's just see if that's the right recipe. Tin and copper. Four, yes, just four will do fine. Oops, I see one in there. And eight. Take those out. And the tesseract. So let's put that in the middle here, the field tesseract frame, the four silver. And the four tinkers alloy or bronze. And then we have our tesseract. Fantastic, look at that. Ah, some more tin, we don't need that. Let's have a quick look at this chest, actually sort it out a bit. Click the sort button and see what else we can put in here that we don't really want. It would be nice to get rid of these, but I seem to have such a full chest. Compressed iron I can take out of here, as it happens, because we can put that somewhere else. These are all the components for the pneumatic craft stuff and I'm sure actually at this stage I can probably claim my standing reward as it were if you know what I mean let's have a look let's get to the quest book let's open that one not yet over no yet not yet complete repeat in three days okay so I have to wait 
for that one. In fact, I'm not really chasing the quest at the moment. That's going to come later on. We might as well do a bit of grinding while we've got a few seconds to spare. Need to make a few, make a few, I can hear a few endermen there, so that's good for the ender pearls if we're lucky. That's not ender pearl gone. Jump up and down. I think it was mainly because of the spiders. Let's just get rid of a spider in here. Oh no. Can't be one up there somewhere, I guess. Skills in my bow. Oh. I think that's for everybody, so to speak. Oh no, not quite. Look, another one's just dropped down. Let's get rid of this stuff here. Gunpowder we don't need. Arrows, fine. I think something else just dropped then, but I don't know what it was. Okay, that'll do. So we should go around the back here and have a look. You'll see I've got a reasonable amount of ender pearls in there. Actually a reasonable amount of armour stuff as well. I don't know what to do with this armour. I'm sure you can... I'm I'm pretty certain... Well, maybe it's not in this mod pack or maybe it's not in this version. You can actually grind this stuff up when it's complete. There's another sneaky little creeper. Plenty of gunpowder, plenty of arrows, plenty of everything really. Right, so what I can do here is I have set up this tesseract. And underneath here I've got a tank. I just going to get that XP. I still want this for the XP, for the XP gains. So on this is a grinder. And it's turned off at the moment because I turned off the, the power to the um, tesseract. The Tesseract has configured, I've configured it to grinder, and this particular thing is sending items in fluid and receiving energy. And the other side of this, you said, and I couldn't get the, I wasn't sure whether or not the, the fluid was coming down. So anyway, I put a tank on here. On the other side here, I've got this one, which is all considered on frequency 100 as a grinder and this time we're sending energy and receiving items and fluid and I was hoping the fluid would go in here but it didn't seem to but it's certainly picking up items even not very many at the moment because I didn't have it running for very long and this is actually connected to the power supply here I mean you don't need a ton of power actually you don't just think so it's, it can just work its way it's merry speed it's not urgent it lets it do its thing as it were so this is the essence that I need in here. In fact, it doesn't actually tell you. I think there is a, a mode in Wally where you can actually turn on the contents of the tanks, but I haven't figured it out yet. So we can turn this on there, it goes to dark green. And then if we look at the grinder, you'll see the power's going up. So what we can also do is to make another grinder, because we need to do that, and a spawner if I haven't already done it. So let's have a look, how do I do that? This is the grinder recipe. So I need two books and one Invar sword. Well, the Invar sword is fairly straightforward. Just two blocks of it, just exactly like any other sword you've got made. With just standard sticks. Pregnancy sticks don't work. I did sort of not really explain Invar very well, but it was from the pulverizing of iron ore bris. It takes some iron ore bris. You, when you do that, you'll end up with some pulverized ferrous metal, pulverized ferrous metal, uh, one of those, and I think it's two, oh, not tin, two iron, will give you um, invol blend if I'm not mistaken, like that, you get three invol blend. So that's how you get that, in fact let's put those away in this chest. Okay. 
Electrum mug is 18. I must have, um, I don't know what it did. I must have converted some, somehow I must have convert, accidentally converted some ingots into, uh, yes, let's put them back again. I don't prefer to have ingots anyway. Easier to see. Right, books are also now very easy. Once you've got the redstone fur furnace, all you need is some, not arrows, but it's just no bones, no gunpowder, well, two of these. We need two books, two leather. Put those into the redstone furnace that's here, and out of it we'll get two leathers. We need some paper. Paper, we've got tons of paper. Oops. Where's he come from? Another little shock. I must have got a little zone somewhere that I haven't covered it properly. And I'm not using the right sword either. I probably could do it like this. Yeah, better. So I better press F7. Let's see what my exposed bit is. Hmm be anywhere here isn't it let's just see if I can fly and see anything it's not surely not on the top of the tree this is a massive tree well nothing obvious hmm oh never mind anyway in here I should have plenty of sugar canes I only need six Three pieces of paper, no, six pieces of paper, because I need six pieces of paper. Just do it like this. And then we go and get our leather from the smelter uh, from here. It should be in here. Just need two of those. Ah, we just make a book. Which, I, in fact, I can actually make on myself, if I'm not mistaken. It's an easier recipe than doing it through the, the wood route. Right, here we go. Wrong machine, wrong, wrong station. Let's do it on here. Let's put those in there and that in there. Then we have another grinder. And I think I've already made, if I'm not mistaken, the spawner. But let's just check. It's a half a spawner, a spawner slab, very very useful. Here we go. So, ooh. Yes, I haven't made it. An auto spawner from Mine Factory Reloaded. Two emeralds, nether wart, got that, that's why I had to go to the nether. Plastic sheeting, and one auto spawner. So, let's have a look. Now, this auto spawner will also need energy and conduit what do I want in from here that's leadstone energy I don't need that I can put the tesseract straight on it item ducks maybe I do need item ducks now I'm going to send it exactly aren't I but I will need some I need to think about this a little bit but what we can do in the meantime of course is to go over here and get some wonder how obsidian to finish this off but I don't know whether I'm going to do this on camera or not but I do think I should do this teleposing thing what did they say in fact yes I know what I need to do I need to eat but other than that I need to make a anchor or chunk loader really Let's do that. I think I should be able to do that in here. Let's have a look. Chunk loaders. One of those chicken chunk loaders. This one. From chicken chunks. So I just need an enchantment table, which is two diamonds, obsidian, and a book. So let's get that one prepared. And a book. Well, we should have plenty of paper somewhere. I think it might be in this chest actually it's probably in this just here yes got plenty of paper 
Let's make two books for the sake of it. You can get that leather. But they should be grinding now, actually. I think that should be grinding those. But it's not fast, it's relatively slow. Let's make the books. Another thing that doesn't seem to be a problem having a shortage of books, an excess of books, I mean. Alright, chicken junk load up that one. So now we need this recipe. Fairly straightforward. Now we've got the enchantment table, we need gold. And an ender pearl, which I don't have with me there. Let's see if I can get rid of some of this stuff actually while I'm here. No, that chest is full. That chest isn't full yet, but it's getting that way. Quick sort. Quick glance. Anything else to put up there? No. Okay, and a ender pearl. I should see this actually. Increasing, but it will be very slow because it's a very big, a big chest. The disadvantage of grinding, of course, I don't get the XP. I think it's working. Let me double check this again. Work zero from one. It doesn't actually look like it's ticking across. Interesting. It seem to be tuned in. We'll see. There's no urgency. Let's get on with the rest of it. To make this chicken chunk loader. There we go. Now, what else did I want to do? I wanted to make sure I could telepose myself across to the nether, didn't I? And I just I figured out that these ones are actually basically true. I think this one the reinforced teleports a 5x5 five five block this does a 3x3 three three block that's why my altar was, trans was transferring the not altar was transferring the uh, Aubrey farm and this is the one I want okay, just a just a simple one so I suppose the easiest thing is to use it on the nether anyway so let's have a look close that up I've got everything I need probably not I have more than I need Now, what have I got in this thing here? Okay, I think all I had to do now was to actually do the opposite on this one. Right click that there. Check this one. That's one. That's probably what I needed to do. I think I forgot to do that last time. Uh, oops, let's turn the jetpack off because it's on the walls. There we go. How about that? Now let's just check what we've got in this one. Oh, I've already done it. Look at that. Fantastic. So what I wanted to do here is I basically put in... It's a double layer wall of obsidian. The idea is I want to... I want to grind the... Um, the wither. So let's put in here this... Obsidian. And I'm not sure, I think at least I need at least three blocks of um, obsidian to protect myself from the, or to be strong enough, because I don't want, it's being a void, it's going to be difficult to do this. It's because you don't want to lose the either the either the wither skeleton skulls when you're grinding them, or you don't want to lose the, the, the nether stars when you get those either, that's be rather an, an expensive thing because it takes three withers to do one. Oh, sorry, with the skeletons to reduce one. Ele that's it. Pissed one in there too, and the rest is just filling us in. Have I done two blocks there? Looks like I have. Okay. 
use up this material is fairly fast building a building especially if you're doing it double layered but they might need three layers I'm not sure yet we'll find out I think one two three four five I think there are do or did want another one of these I'm not 100% sure about that let's have a look let's just take out one of these blocks here and see if I go through to daylight or I've got another block of obsidian behind it I've got another block of obsidian so I don't need this lot fortunately it's not too slow with this pickaxe I'm just wondering why I've got a row up here. Oops, I'm just probably being careless. I probably will need a something at the top, definitely. So let's sort of put this slab in here. Maybe this is what I wanted to do. Maybe this is the the roof layer. that would only be one block height anyway so here I would like to put the spawner I think and that should do a 5x5 five five block maybe it wants to be in this one and what I want to do is I want to drag the well, before I do that let's, I don't want to drop my obsidian particularly even though it's not too expensive these days Let's turn this, get this guy going. What I want to do is I want to, yes, that's right, one block underneath there, and I want to basically drag the cables. So I want to drag some power down through here. So let's have a look. So this is going to be the spawn that wants to be in this piece here, doesn't it? And I think that's okay. And I want to be able to capture the output from the grind. I need a grinder. So I think the grinder should be here. Is that going to work? I ain't sure. Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's by doing it. So in the meantime, I'll just put a torch up here to keep the mobs at bay, so to speak. The only one that will be coming here will be Zombie Pigman, I think. There's nothing else that will come here. Anyway, I shall work on that. When I've finished the design, I'll come and show it to you. In the meantime, let's get back home. I guess I did put a block up here. That's good. Oops, if I can actually stand on it. There we go. Makes life a bit easier. Right, one more thing I'd like to make before I finish the episode is some endstone. Now, if you remember rightly, endstone is made from sandstone and we need two blocks. I'm going to make one actually because I've already made some just to test it out. It's some sandstone and then we need a bucket of resident ender. I think it's a bucket of resident Oh, it's half a bucket of resident ender. Let's have a look. Well, they just take two of those. I think it might even be just one pearl for a, an endstone. I'm not sure why that's not working, to be honest with you. It should have been grinding these mobs. But like everything else, it doesn't always work first time. Right, here we go. Let's put those in there. And let's put two end pearl, ender pearls in here. And then see what happens. I think make endstone it'll work with one see that's 500 and here we get some endstone and what I wanted to do with the endstone I've already done it actually as it happens is to plant these onto here see how fast they grow this one is now mature I can capture this one 
get one more ender pearl and we shall put the ends and the lily seed here on that end stone it should grow faster in fact we can leave those two to see which one if, if this actually catches up this is only 71 percent this one and this one is zero don't need any slime balls so i'll leave that thing alone I'm just wondering what's going on here. Why are these guys not dying? Hmm. Well, in the meantime, let's just do a bit of manual grinding while I'm while I'm here. See what we get. Anything interesting? Fill up the old turf. Nothing else. And reduce the noise is another advantage of doing this. This is a nice bit of. Revenge all those times those mobs have done nasty things to us. You can see there's obviously a spider up there. That I can't hear it actually. Sometimes you can hear the spiders trundling in your heads. Nope, no spiders today. About plenty picked up a load of junk, I like bones, don't want those. I've got another ender pearl, I another ender pearl, okay, put this up there. Quick sort, it doesn't sort actually when you're on that one, and that's it. So, next time, I think I would like to see if I can get this grind to work. I'll do that in my own time. And when it's done, I'll, do, I'll show you. There is one more thing I could do. I'm a bit puzzled about this setup here. It doesn't seem to be doing what I was expecting it to. I just picked up all of the zombie flesh or rotting flesh. Let's put that into number five. Just highlight it and press five. And then simply put this lever on here. And then we can turn it off. I think that's actually the office the off position. You'll notice I put torches up here too. The idea of the torches was to keep the mobs at bay. That's why they were spawning. But they were still dying, so I still got my sigle of magnetism in here. Got all that stuff. Plenty of ender pearls, I'll just go underneath and get those. Oh, actually, I should know what the problem is. I'm full, aren't I? Let's just come over here. Bones and rotting flesh I've got here. I actually also got some armour from the from the nether as well, didn't I? So look. Bones. Gunpowder I haven't got any of. Rotting flesh I've got plenty of. I don't really want those ender pearls if I can get one. I'll tell you what I'll do. Just come over here, get one. And then that will at least reserve a place in the inventory for another one. So there we are, one of those. So whatever else it picks, it will pick up the ender pearls. As you can see, just flying around, picks up all sorts of stuff. We got another one. Right, that'll do. Let's have a look. Four. Not bad. And what I can also do is automate that a little bit. Put some vacuum hoppers at the top there to grab the stuff that's dropping down. And what else did I pick up? Creeper plant seeds. Okay, fair enough. Okay. So until next time, I shall say bye for now. Bye for now.